So today we're going to do another little demo. Uh, the reason why the scientific community feels that geological disposal of fission products and things of that nature belong in salt is because of the properties of salt. If you look at some of the salt that came from the waste isolation pilot plant, if you look at the size of the crystals, you see there are lots of different sizes of those crystals. And when this is deep underground, under massive lithostatic pressure, the salt grains themselves can move along those crystals. They, the, 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 the grain boundaries, they'll slide along those grain boundaries and it's called elastoplastic. So those grain boundaries that you see in there for all of those crystals, the, each individual crystal can slide on that plane very slowly so that it's actually kind of elastic. So under massive lithostatic pressure, like a balloon underwater, the salt will just cocoon the waste if you put waste in there. And so I have a number of different examples. These all came from the underground at the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant, which is a geological repository that's operating and currently disposing of transuranic waste. And you can just see that there's a lot of different crystals and the different kind of salt. And these are just from different layers in the salt that showed the, the type of material. So you, these have a lot, this one right here has a lot of clay inclusions. It actually, it's kind of old and so the clay inclusions have started to come out. It's not fresh looking like it was when I first got it from the underground. But that's why we like salt for geological repositories. It's easy to mine, you can keep it safe, and it basically heals itself. It just kind of seals up the stuff that's in it. And a place like the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant, it's about a mile thick of water evaporites. Uh, so we're talking about a half a mile of sodium chloride, another half a mile of calcium sulfates and other water evaporites in there, cross-sectional area comparable to oh, many Western states and bigger than some, it's, uh, it's huge. And so it's just considered a, a very safe, stable place to put the waste so they can just decay back into dirt. So hope you like the demo. Lots of fun little salt crystals came from the waste isolation pilot plant when I worked there in the underground. So hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Bye.